Now, when I move from my home page to my dashboard, or any part of my dashboard, this is still lit up. And so it doesn't indicate that this is the current active um, page on my website. You can see that this list item here has the class active. If we remove this class, then, and click out of here, then it's no longer lit up. So what we need to do is to have some system that triggers which page is active. So as I move around the site, it's just a little bit easier of a user experience. Students in the past have tried to resolve this question, uh, this issue by doing something a little ridiculous. Um, check it out. In the base, where you have your nav bar here, this whole um, this whole nav uh, bar block. In here is the active class on one of these, um, on the, the dashboard, if I just scroll down. Or maybe that's not the nav bar, I'm sorry, that's the top nav. This is the, um, uh, oh, someone's coding is broken here. Uh-oh. Oh, no, just something, just a glitch in there folding yeah okay here we go so yeah the left side bar so somewhere in here is an active um, and here and so I could just totally on each page replace the left side bar and have an entire an, an entire duplicate here and, which is ridiculous um, and then uh, because if you had to make a change on one of them you'd have to go through every one and change it just because each one has a different active on a different page. No, no, no. Our website already uses jQuery. Um, we, I mean, we can use Java, just plain vanilla JavaScript. But jQuery it makes JavaScript just super easy. You, if we go through this lib scripts um, in the JavaScript thing, that will find uh, jQuery because you have jQuery on all of these other tables that we're using. So I gave this dashboard link and that starts active at its own ID. And now uh, I can inspect it. There it is, the dashboard link. And so if I use this uh, um, JavaScript command, I can just say, hey, jQuery, um, find something with the ID of dashboard link and toggle the class active. And it's one line command. And if I hit it, then it turns that off. Do it again, turns it back on. So all I need to do is just insert one line of code on each template that I want to be active. Now that is we go to the template, like the dashboard. So I just got rid of the active there. And so in the dashboard, uh, da, 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 the dashboard is in league and it's probably going to be one of these. My feed? No, that's my feed. Is it index? Do we have an index page here? Should be here. All right? Dashboard isn't actually a page. That's just what's active. Um, the first, just try this on the home page instead. And so if I go down to uh, any, go to the index here, just home page. And what we can do here is now just insert some JavaScript. The temptation to put a script right here and, and put that line of code where it toggles the active, um, uh, that jQuery, because that would be loaded up here uh, where the con block content is. And jQuery doesn't get activated until after this line. And so, uh, you would you don't want to run any jQuery scripts until after this line, and so uh, we will run our own uh, script down here, and we'll just say uh, script um, just like this, and we'll do um, block uh, Java um, raw JS. How about that? And block.
right now my editor is thinking that this is JavaScript and so it's highlighting it funny, but I know the order that this gets compiled. Jinja is going to do its thing before JavaScript ever starts running. So this will get replaced with the uh, code that I put down here. Um, and so that way I can just type in straight JavaScript here and it'll show up. It doesn't do the highlighting. I should just put the script in. Anyway, uh, let's see if it works for now. The homepage link is there. Um, the base has homepage link here and it's not currently active. Um, let's see if that worked. There it is. Homepage is now lit. Now let's make it nicer and we'll just put in um, uh, to do, to do final script. I just call it block final script. And it'll be the last script that runs. Here we go, right before the end of the body. And now the advantage of doing it like this, final script, um, is that now I can write script here and put this line of code in that. And now you see it's, you know, the color coding, it makes it easier to write JavaScript. It's much nicer. Um, so, okay. It's going to give you a warning saying, hey, the dollar sign, you know, you don't have Java, you don't have jQuery activated here. There's an easy way to uh, fix that warning. I, I, I've looked it up a half a dozen times. I can never remember, it, but I just ignore it um, because I know that JavaScript, I mean, jQuery rather, is imported right here. Um, so I rest assured that it will work. Um, anyway, so now let's let's carry this forward and let's put this on a whole bunch of on all of our templates.